If you're looking for high quality video editing software to create videos for YouTube, for your school, your business, or some other purpose, you have many choices. In an earlier video, we showed you the best free video editors. Since then, many of you have asked, what are the best video editors overall that offer more premium features? Based on our testing over the last few months, we'll show you the top five video editors we recommend to help you create high quality videos. I'll let you know the features available, ease of use, and the cost going over the pros and cons of each. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown at number five is Corel Video Studio Ultimate. Of those in our top five, this is the most user-friendly with a well-designed layout, making it a great choice for beginners looking to create professional quality projects. It includes a ton of useful features and allows you to edit your videos up to 4K with support for 360 degree content. Unlike most video editors, it even includes a built-in screen recorder to capture your screen. There are more than 2,000 filters and effects for you to play around with, and you can easily apply pan and zoom effects to your video. To quickly complete a project, saving you time, they do have a good variety of templates for you to choose from. If you plan to create virtual reality content, their 360 degree editor makes it easy to resize, trim, and add other enhancements to your videos. It even includes the ability to upload your content directly to YouTube. And if all that wasn't enough, their audio tools are quite handy and you get access to a library of royalty-free music to add to your projects. Now for the cons, there's a limit of up to 20 video tracks and the speed to render your projects is not the quickest. Other than that, if you're not a fan of subscription services, it's a great value with a one-time cost of around $100. Video Studio Ultimate is only available for Windows. If you're a Mac owner and you prefer to stay in the Apple ecosystem without having to use third-party software, our number four pick, Final Cut Pro, just might be the best choice for you. While optimized for the newer M1 silicon-based Macs, giving you improved frame rates and faster render speeds with the ability to edit your videos up to 8K with no issues. It's feature-packed. It includes multi-cam editing, video noise reduction, HDR with advanced color grading, a library of visual effects, customizable templates, and third-party apps are easily integrated to enhance the functionality. Just be aware, if you work with 360 video, there's no motion tracking or stabilization. Final Cut Pro is available for Mac OS only. You can get it from the Mac App Store. It's not cheap at around $300, but at least it's only a one-time fee. If you want to try it out before buying, they do offer a 90-day free trial, which is more generous than the trials offered by its competitors. If you find that Final Cut Pro does not meet your needs, I'll be showing you additional video editors for Mac OS coming up. Coming in at number three is DaVinci Resolve. They offer both a free and paid version. For most people, the free version will be all that they need. When compared to most paid editors, it's more feature packed, but on the downside, there's a steep learning curve and does use a lot of system resources. So it won't work well on low spec computers. If your computer can handle it, in addition to the standard tools to edit your projects, there are advanced tools for color correction, motion graphics, and audio editing. Also built in and included is their Fusion software to create your very own motion graphics and cinematic visual effects. DaVinci Resolve has been used for post-production on many films and TV projects you might be familiar with, including Deadpool, Star Wars The Last Jedi, Pirates of the Caribbean, Game of Thrones, American Horror Story, Westworld, and many others. As I mentioned earlier, DaVinci Resolve is free. They do offer a paid version called DaVinci Resolve Studio for a one-time cost of $295. It includes additional tools for 3D, extra plugins, and allows for multi-user collaboration. Both versions are available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Before we get to our top two, here are three bonus picks for beginners looking for easier to use software than those already mentioned. Adobe Premiere Elements is a stripped down version of Premiere Pro that's a lot easier to use. Features include transitions, face detection, video and audio effects, music is included that can be added to your projects, and now offers additional support for 4K. Unlike most of the software sold by Adobe, there are no reoccurring costs to use Premiere Elements. It's available for a one-time fee of around $100. To try before you buy, they offer a 30-day free trial, and it's available for Windows and Mac OS. Another easy-to-use video editor for beginners is Filmora by Wondershare. It includes a good variety of filters and effects, plug-in support, a royalty-free sound library, and support for videos up to 4K. 
They do offer a free plan, but all your videos will be slapped with their branded watermark. Their paid annual plans start at around $50, or if you'd prefer a lifetime license for the current version of Filmora, the one-time fee is around $117. It's available for Windows and Mac OS. Another great choice for users of Mac OS is iMovie. While not as feature-packed as Final Cut Pro, this entry-level editor pre-installed on Mac computers includes templates, cool special effects and filters, with support up to 4K, but does limit you to only two video tracks. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is CyberLink PowerDirector 365. Testing this out for the first time in a few years, it has improved quite a bit. The ease of use, fast rendering, and sheer number of features is amazing for its price point. It includes over 3,000 effects and templates, multi-cam editing, motion tracking, and a built-in screen recorder with support up to 8K. What makes this a great value is you now get access to more than 6 million photos, videos, and music from Shutterstock, along with access to more than 2 million stock photos and videos from iStock. With all the features included, it can be overwhelming for beginners. Thankfully, they do have useful how-to guides and tutorials on their site that will help you out when you get started. Its cost is normally around $70 per year, and you can often find it for less when they run specials. Usually I'd recommend going with the lifetime license with most software, but in this case, you end up losing out on a ton of beneficial features. In addition to Windows, CyberLink PowerDirector is now available for Mac OS. There is no free trial, but they do offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. In the top spot, coming in at number one, is Adobe Premiere Pro. For decades, it's been the industry standard for filmmakers, TV editors, videographers, and a popular choice for YouTubers. It supports HDR, along with footage up to 8K and VR content, including 360. You get an unlimited number of video tracks, a good amount of transition effects, and it plays nicely with other Adobe products, including After Effects and Illustrator. Plugins for various sources can also be added to enhance its functionality. Some will hate the reoccurring cost each month, and its monthly cost is high. But if you're using it for a business or producing content that earns you revenue, the pricing can be justified. Premiere Pro starts at around $21 per month or at around $55 as part of the Creative Cloud suite of apps. If you'd like to take it for a test drive before paying for it, Premiere Pro does offer a seven-day free trial. It's available for both Windows and Mac OS. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What video editor is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and ring that bell to stay up to date with our latest top fives and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.